Hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing on to my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. I'm going to sit there and show you how to have a little bit more of a stress-free holiday. So let's get started. So let's get making that Starbucks salted caramel hot chocolate. Good looking. Happy Seasons Eatings. I'm so glad you made it to my kitchen right before Christmas. And today I'm going to sit there and show each and every one of you just how easy it is to make a Starbucks salted caramel hot chocolate. And we're going to be doing it all in our what? In our crock pot. That's right, I'm still rocking out with the crack out this holiday season. And I'm bringing you along, and we're going to be doing that hot chocolate, like I said, in the what? In our crock pot. Now, I already have four cups of milk that I measured out, and I already put that ahead in our slow cooker over here. Now... We're going to be having to add a half a cup of sugar. So let's go ahead, add that. And to that, you're going to be needing one fourth cup of Hershey's cocoa. Now let's go ahead, add all that. We're also going to be needing one third cup of water. Here's my one third cup of water. And also add one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to grab my whisk and I'm going to go ahead and mix and I'm going to periodically come by every now and then and give it a quick jizz around with my whisk. We have it on low. We're going to put the cover on and we're going to cook this for two hours. Well, it's two hours later and I went ahead and I just quickly stirred all the hot cocoa all up. And now it's time for us to sit there and finish adding the rest of our ingredients. So what you're going to be wanting to add is a teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of the hazelnut syrup. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my measuring cup, or not measuring cup, measuring spoon and measure out the two tablespoons of our hazelnut syrup. And go ahead, stir this all in. Okay, let's go ahead and ladle it into our coffee mug. Now that we have it all ladled into our coffee mug, go ahead, put some extra marshmallows down. Now you're going to want to add some whipped cream to the top of this. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this one, I'm not going to put any caramel sauce on because I have a family member that asked for it without caramel so I'm making it without caramel right here but otherwise 
we will put caramel on. I'm going to add a little special surprise. Now, there you go. Let's go ahead and make one of these with the caramel on top. Let's go ahead and put the whipped cream up on top. Now you're going to sit there and want to give a good dollop of caramel sauce. So let's go ahead and drizzle some caramel sauce all over the top. Now be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe today. Tap that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I do put out a new video. And I want to wish y'all happy holidays. Y'all come back now. You hear?